Hello and welcome to this screencast. My name is Oliver Verkus. I'm a senior chef and consultant with Soft Landing in Vancouver, Canada, and I'm also a Microsoft MVP. This video is a part of a series of videos that we at Soft Landing created to assist our app modernization initiative. The videos in this series are providing technical information for developers and IT admins that is directly related to our app modernization workshops and talks. Before we start, please allow me to quickly introduce Soft Landing. We are a Vancouver-based Microsoft Systems Integration Partner founded in 2000. We have about 50 staff in our Vancouver office and are partnered with, amongst others, Cyrison, Metalogix, Nintex and specialize in Microsoft Enterprise Technology. Our area of expertise comprises of four pillars. Number one is the Microsoft Productivity Stack, including Office 365 and SharePoint. Pillar number two is all about Microsoft infrastructure, including Azure and on-premises infrastructure. Pillar three is focused on custom development, like app development, SharePoint and Azure development. And pillar four is our security practice. If you would like to know more about what we are doing and how we might help you, please visit our website or contact us via info at softlanding.ca. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a basic web application in Microsoft Azure. This will be the foundation that we are working on in our subsequent videos. To be able to utilize Microsoft Azure as platform to host your business applications, you first need to have a subscription. If you don't have a subscription yet, you can always get a trial subscription that is available for one month free of charge. Navigate to www.azure.microsoft.com and sign up for a free trial account. As I just mentioned, in this video, we will create a basic web application in Microsoft Azure. In the subsequent videos, we will take this basic application and enhance its functionality. First, let's create a basic web application in Microsoft Azure. Go to portal.azure.com and log in to your subscription. Next, open the left sidebar Click on Plus New and look for Web and Mobile. Click on Web and Mobile and select Web Application. Here we need to provide some additional details. First is we need to name our web application. And in my case, I'm naming it App Modernization Demo. As you can see here on the right side, there's a green check mark, and this check mark tells us that app modernization demo.azurewebsites.net is available and can be used. Step two is select your subscription. Step three is create a resource group, and I'm creating a new resource group, and I'm naming it app modernization demo. Step four is I need to create a service plan. I'm creating a new service plan here. The service plan needs to have a name and I give it the same name, App Modernization Demo. And as you can see here in the green check mark, this name is okay, it's accepted. Location, as I'm located in Canada, I'm choosing Canada Central as a location. and. I'm selecting a new pricing tier for our basic web application because I think the B1 tier will be sufficient for this demo. So I select it, and click on OK to create the new app service plan and click on OK to create our web application. So this will take just a couple of seconds. So let's go to all resources here and wait until Microsoft Azure has created our app service and our app service plan. So let me click on refresh here and here we go. 
Azure has created our app modernization app service plan and the app service and both are located in Canada Central. Alright, now it's time to create our basic web application in Visual Studio. So I switch over to my development environment. Here we have Visual Studio Enterprise 2015. I click on File, New Project and the list of installed projects I'm selecting Web and as I'm creating a web application I'm choosing ASP.NET Web Application.NET Framework here. Our web application needs to have a name I give it the same name, App Modernization Demo, and I click on OK. Next, Visual Studio needs to know what kind of template I'm going to use. In my example here, I'm using MVC. So I select MVC, and I'm not selecting Host and Cloud here, although I want to publish my web application to Azure. The reason why I'm not selecting Host and Cloud here is I would like to show you how you can publish a web application manually to Microsoft Azure. Okay, we're all set here. Let's click on OK and let's and let Visual Studio create our basic web application. This will just take a couple of seconds and when Visual Studio is done with that, we should see the folders and the files of our web application here on the right you know, the right side uh, in the Solution Explorer. So I'll give it just a couple of seconds more and here we go. Here's a list of folders and files that are building our web application. So let's close this for now. And this will be the web application I'm going to publish to Microsoft Azure. But before I do that, I would like to ensure that this is really the web application I'm going to publish. Uh, I'm going to publish to Azure. So I'm opening views here and I'm opening shared here and I'm opening underscore layout.cshtml. If you're not familiar with Microsoft MVC, um, the layout.cshtml file, it's a kind of um, basic template that all the views in an MVC application use to display content. And I'm going to change the application name here. I'm changing it to App Modernization Demo. Okay, let's save the change close that tab now and let's first see if Visual Studio is able to compile our project. I click on build and Visual Studio is building the project now and yes build succeeded so everything looks fine. So now let's publish this web application, this basic web application to Azure. I click publish and now Visual Studio is um, showing a publishing wizard so we only need to need to do this once for subsequent publishing processes um, we, we will have a publishing profile that we can use. So as I'm going to publish my web application to Microsoft Azure I'm selecting Microsoft Azure App Service here. As I've already logged in to my Azure account here. All the fields are pre-populated by Visual Studio. The only thing I need to change here is I need to select the resource group I've just created. Okay, click on OK now. And this is the last step of creating the publishing profile. All the fields should be pre-populated by Visual Studio as well. And the only thing we need to do here is we need to validate the connection. We need to ensure that Visual Studio is able to connect to Azure, to connect to our subscription and to connect to our resource group. So I click on validate connection here. This will just take a couple of seconds. And 
Visual Studio is now checking if it can connect to Azure. Okay, let's and here we go. As you see, this is a green check mark here, so everything looks fine, and we are ready to publish. I click on next. I'm choosing the debug configuration. So this is what I'm going to deploy to Azure now. I click on next and I click on start preview just to show you all the files that Visual Studio is going to deploy to Azure. So here's a list of all the files that are going to deploy to Azure. Okay, let's start the publishing process by clicking on publish. Again, this is taking a few seconds and we can see the progress in the output window. Okay, Visual Studio is um, publishing all the files and directories here and in a couple of seconds um, Internet Explorer should show up and we should see our new web application. Well, let's wait for um, Internet Explorer to load the web application you can see here in the URL this is the this is the URL we, we just um, validated in Azure it's app modernization demo dot Azure websites dot net and here you can see this is our web application we have just published to Azure and just to show you that this is really the web application we just created you see here the name of the application is app modernization demo as you've seen here, there are just a few steps needed to create a basic web application in Azure. In the following videos, we will add additional functionality to this web application as well as enhancing its reliability. Thank you very much.